Hello and welcome to nepaltraveler.com. Yet another episode of our Nepal Travel Trade Talk. And we're at the Holiday Inn in Kathmandu. We are with the GM, Karthi, who's been here for, with the launch of this wonderful property. Karthi has many years of experience in the hospitality industry with the brands, with the Obroy, with uh, IG. And he's here to launch. He was part of the launch of this hotel. So welcome to the show, Arkal. Thank you so much, Tans. To start with, let our viewers know how you started your tour, uh, your journey in tourism, in hospitality. Well, I think it's uh, quite funny. Even I actually don't know what to do with my career, right? A little confused, notorious kid. Uh, just trying to throw dots in the dark everywhere. So hotel industry is kind of an accident, I would say. Uh, just thought of pursuing your career in hotels because of some of my friends wanted to do. That's how it started. Uh, but it's been an incredible journey. I never thought I'm going to be so successful. I never thought I'm going to enjoy this. And I never thought I'm going to be a hotelier for more than a decade and continue to do the same business where I started at 2005. So it's been an incredible journey. Uh, the best part about the tourism or of hospitality is that you get to meet some great people. You get to interact with the uh, versatile kind of profiles, uh, some, you know, let's say diplomats, ambassadors, and then you have a backpackers, and then you have a families, and you, you kind of do events, make memories. So it's been an incredible journey. And uh, I think what made me last for long is that love, which we kind of try and spread around in the hotels. You know, that's what makes me really happy. And that's what, you know, brought me here all the way. So Anything memorable from your first job, I mean, going into hospitality industry? Because we have a lot of young people in Nepal who perhaps should be joining the industry. Yes. How did it start? Something to share? There's a lot of memories, I must say. But again, in a country like India and Nepal, or Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, we all don't come from a really a well-to-do family, right? So we come up with a lot of, uh, you know, inspirations we come up with a lot of uh, you know celebrities and uh, you know superstars we have which we'll not even dreamed of meeting at once in lifetime so for me it just happened in a very month i started meeting my you know inspirations in the hotels you know i happened to interact with them i happened to they happened to call my name which was like a dream which was never thought of never dreamed of so these are things like that which uh, you know made this journey very possible and that's what it has also made me kind of started believe more about myself that yes i can kind of uplift my career i can uplift my profile and i can go places and how has the last 10 or more years in tourism been i mean you've traveled you you've worked in different places in india in dhaka oh been fantastic you know every time when you move into a new city you learn about people you learn about the culture uh, more important you learn about the food and you learn about the behavior. I think that's kind of uh, makes you a better person. It uh, makes you as a person that you kind of getting versatile uh, with the world. And then uh, it gives you, it brings you together, right? It brings you as a complete person when you learn some new things every day. And especially in hotels, what happens, we tend to interact with a lot of different people from a different parts, right? You know, you have a people uh, who completely don't have any idea about hotels, who come and work with you. You have a people who have been very passionate about, you know, tourism. Uh, they come and join the business just to explore and what they can give it back to the society. That is what been an interesting journey for me throughout was always a learning about people and working with people. And then coming to the brand, the brand that you are now uh, handling in Nepal. I think this is the first uh, holiday in That's for right. Nepal. We are the first IAG hotel now. Okay. So, would you like to share some information with our viewers about this? What is the significance of the, the whole thing? So, well, IHG is not new to Nepal. You know, I'm sure most of you know yes. the Tron Plaza Tron. used to be here more than a decade. Uh, but however, unfortunately, uh, you know, Tron Plaza has to kind of a part away from us. Well. Mm -hmm. So, we re-entered the market after almost two and a half, three years post-COVID. Uh, so, the, we, this is the first brand from IHG is coming up. It's just a Holiday and Express. And a Holiday and Express is a one of the most powerful brand, which operates 3,000 plus hotels globally, almost more than 140 to 150 countries. And it's actually the number one uh, brand in the world in the volume, in, in the volume, volume. Of, right. 
you know no other brands have more hotels like us but however ig has a, a very 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 strong you know portfolio coming in soon we are going to be the market leaders uh, within another couple of months we are going to have a holiday in brand resort opening which okay. is going to be the first in the southwest asia so this is very unique uh, for uh, our indian resort yeah. because in india sri lanka or bangladesh we don't have a holiday resort okay. anywhere this is going to be the first so okay. there's going to be a lot of focus on the brand and another couple of months we are going to open with a couple of intercontinentals there's intercontinental hotel coming in pokhara there's intercontinental coming in chitwan and there's like three four brands coming up in kathmandu so if i have to say with irg in other around 5 to 6 years will be the market leaders we should be having at least minimum 10 hotels with a wide parts. footprint with oh. a wide footprint all over in kathmandu pokhara chitwan and then some of the other places also we have been exploring so this is going to be a uh, you know interesting to see what you know nepal has to offer for irg and the same way what irg is going to bring into you know nepal in view of the tourism and the foot football and how has the journey in nepal been i mean you represented irg when you came in to launch this this property what's that journey been like it's great you know if i have to say something which is very really, you know uh, heartwarming for me is that first time i landed uh, you know i never been to nepal it is surprisingly no for an indian at least they would have made two three trips before they come for a walk but whenever i plan to come here the trips didn't happen yeah. x y z reason some for good some for bad but i think last finally i landed here for a really good reason to, to open a hotel and uh, to settle here and work which is great but people here are really really welcoming the best example when i landed midnight my flight was delayed for two hours i had my uh, chairman and the board of directors waiting in the airport to welcome me that is not something which you see in other parts mm-hmm. of the world you know they don't have to do it but they were really there to you know waiting for a couple of hours to welcome me and get me you know settled down in the city which was really nice i think it's in the dna of people here the yeah, hospitality exactly. the tourism and the care is generally it's in the dna of the people which is something which uh, really fantastic uh, you know we all know that in asian countries you get a good service you know the people are humble and polite but i think nepal is one level above than others you know the top notch i think that's something which is really nice which i really found special which is also going to be the unique character state that going to attract more tourism also looking at uh, where we are now it's been a couple of months mm-hmm. how do you see the challenges that you're facing at the moment and what further plans do you have for the hotel so if i have to say a challenges in opening a hotel or a setting up a new project in nepal is uh, to do with the supply chain i think the country is uh, really dependent on china in most of the things and then another freedom market or the country which supports is india so i think that is what one of the major issue wherein maybe we need to have a more uh, industries you know more supply should be available in nepal that and you need to have everything planned right you know if you wanted to get everything from another country then it, you need to think about the logistics logistics you know it takes one or two weeks three weeks so that's slightly challenging if you're not well planned if one thing misses then it delays the project okay. right so it needs meticulous planning uh apart from this uh talent uh you know we country has some great people i don't deny that i think the most of them but choose to work outside uh the talent is definitely a challenge uh we have a very a uh, limited talent who wanted to work in nepal you know so we took a lot of time to settle the team and train the team and build the team this two are the key challenges i feel in terms of human resources because this is across the board largely in hospitality but in other sectors also we see that people are all leaving the young people are leaving the country okay uh, how do you see the situation and uh, now with the big brands coming i mean is there a way that we can attract our young people to stay in the country see i think it's too early for me to come on to both the other sectors uh, talents leaving uh, because i hardly yes. been here for 6 7 months but i can talk about hospitality definitely uh the similar situation uh we used to see in india as well 10 years 15 years before where people want to leave so yeah, i am a great example you know even when i joined the hotels my intention was to go abroad my Hello. intention was to uh, go to cruise liners to make money right we never seen that you know we have a potential growth in the industry the similar trend we see here as well but this will definitely change because of the number of brands coming in 
you know, as we talked, right. the city already have hired, we have a Marriott, right. you know, we have a couple of other competitors of and IAG is coming very strong with a flagship brands like Crown Plaza, Intercom and Holiday Inn. So what happens now? The talent has an opportunity to learn the right business because earlier, even the colleges want to send the students for internship to uh, Dubai, you know, to India because they feel they learn better, right? Because there were and no exposure. branded hotels in, uh, in the Nepal, the exposure was really less. But now it's going to change. Uh, you know, the people also can uh, learn the world-class hospitality here because, you know, you have the tools available, you have the brands available. And also, it's all to do with the right mentoring and the right leadership. I think which now hotels and, uh, you know, Kathmandu have some great mm-hmm. leaders. Uh, so the brands will bring in uh, more specialists in the business. So again, they get to learn what they learn outside and they can actually make a career inside the country rather than going out. At the end of the day, what I've also seen here, people go abroad and they always want to come back. They're not like other parts. They want to go and settle down. I see the people coming back is more. So, so the reverse the yes. brain drain is going to happen. They're going to come yes. back with skills. They're going to come back with the skill, but now they don't have to go. They can retain here. They can gain the skill here. They can excel here and they can make the career within the country. So down the line, I think five years from now, this trend will completely change. You will see a very less number of people leaving the country. In and, my view. And on IIG, with their plans for Nepal over the next few years, the way they are coming in with all the brands, what does that mean for the destination, for Nepal? See, Nepal is definitely in a spotlight. You know, I think the city has a lot of potential. Uh, especially Kathmandu, Kokra and Chitwan. These three places has a lot of potentials. And right now, if you ask me, uh, this is not used to the fullest. Okay. Now, earlier, the tourists, when they used to plan the calendar, uh, they never had so many options. When you wanted to go and book a hotel, it is mostly a standalone players. Uh, you have to go on the reviews. Uh, you are not very sure that where are you getting in? What are you going to get? But now these brands coming in will change the perception. Okay, so the now guy who, who is stayed in the intercom, if there is an intercom here, he knows what to expect. What are the service levels and what are, how the product is going to be, you know, how comfortable you will be looked after. Yeah. Likewise with the Holiday and Express, like, you know, you wanted to have a quick, simple, uh, st- a quick express stay. You know, you come in here, you get it. So th- the, these brands are going to redefine the tourism here. Uh, these brands are going to attract more customers to come in. Exactly. Uh, and also it will give a lot of confidence for an international traveler. I would not say there's no international traveler. Definitely there are a lot of international travelers. But I feel people who make or plan a trip for a leisure is very less. It's more to do uh, with experimenting the Pashupati or is more to do with the expedition here, uh, you know, rather than the leisure travel. Like what happens in the other Asian countries, uh, like Thailand, you know, Maldives and Malaysia. We don't have that kind of a traffic, you know. As we're talking number, it's 1.5 million approximately, if I'm not mistaken, tourists come in a year, which is extremely less for a country like Nepal. The brands coming in will definitely change the game. Because of also the extended marketing, the yes, networks. the networks. And like while you're talking, you know, we have uh, IIG One Rewards. It's one of the most powerful loyalty, you know, platform available for a guest. So the moment when the hotels come in here, it means you are sh- sh- taking your product, your country, to around like 40 million people around There's another option or an option to go and check you know what is available where is it available this is one of the examples i have to say and also brands will promote the destination too so i have a lot of plans to promote nepal as a destination because we have a huge footprint from the portfolios coming in so it's going to add up to the nepal too as a final question now that the hotel is launched what else is expected in the near future what are your plans with the hotel well, uh, Holiday and Express is uh, is a brand known for a simple and a smart travel, right? We try to keep things simple for a customer. Uh, you know, when you are traveling on a business, when you travel on a transit, all you need is to have a you know quick check-in, a clean bed, or a, you know hot shower, and an extra start breakfast. That's what you expect uh, when you are in a business or a transit. This brand is very new for the market, so for us. It's going to be slightly challenge, I, I would say, another couple of months to exactly establish what we're known for. So our plan is to take the brand to the right audience, to tell them what you can expect from and why it is beneficial. Because we give you, uh, you know, 
Uber luxury standard at an affordable price. You know, luxury is not always about uh, what corporates we use, what kind of a chandeliers you have in the hotel. Luxury is all about, you know, having a comfortable, clean, quick stay, right? This is what the new norms of luxury for quick international travelers. So that's what we do. Uh, so for us, right now, one, taking the brand to the right audience and making make them use of it at a very affordable price. And second, uh, we have a beautiful uh, rooftop <laughs> Okay, with service of Asian cuisine, uh, you know, we have a chef uh, from India and we have our expertise who's, uh, you know, pulling out some fantastic dishes. So that has been launched now. Uh, it's two months around. So we are going to kind of bring in more, uh, you know, culinary extravenza uh, for our guests, uh, want them to try different cuisines. So we're going to have something or other coming up. And also we are known for uh, kind of uh, making your business easy. Okay. So there are a lot of corporate houses here. They have a lot of requirements, which I feel has been not fulfilled. You name it as a you know quick business, a business meal, or you know a, you know lunch box at your office, or how you make your meetings more comfortable and easy. So we're going to explore and touch point with local corporates and make the business easy for them. And also your restaurants and and this outlet, this of beautiful course, outlet for the walk-ins, the, of course, the of domestics. Course. So there will be something or other new in our hotel, which has been not explored before you know in a very affordable price that's what our promise thank you so much karti for taking the time and for having us at the hotel thank you so it's much been a pleasure. it's been a pleasure thank you. thank you